This is Staffordshire, home to the potteries and home to badgers. In fact, this is one of Britain's badger hotspots. Badgers have been living undisturbed here for thousands of years, but pressure for new homes means that the builders are moving in. In a few months' time, where I'm standing now, there'll be diggers, and unfortunately, they'll be standing on top of some badgers as well. Can we do something about it? Welcome to the world of Wild Thing. I love you. Welcome to the world of Wild Thing I Love You, where each week our team of eco-experts takes on the challenge of an urgent wildlife conservation project. The mission of Wild Thing I Love You is to save the nation's most endangered animals from the direct threat of human encroachment. Helping me out is a trio of eco-experts. Dusty Gedge is the team ecologist and main strategist. Years of conservation work have given him crucial experience when it comes to solving any wildlife problem we face. Dr. Sasha Norris is the team's zoologist. Her insight into animal behavior is essential if we're to understand the full complexities of the tasks facing us. Jem Stansfield is an aeronautical engineer and a mechanical magician. It's up to him to build any device we need to save our wildlife. Morning, team. Morning, Bill. This is David Ramsden from Barnell Trust. Good morning, David. Hello. Nice to meet you, Bill. Of baits. So, uh, <laughs> what do we know about these creatures, then, Dusty? Well, a barn owl is, a, is an open country bird, a farmland bird, and um, they're incredibly beautiful. It's wonderful golden buff on their on their back and their wings. You know, it's like a ghost because the white underneath, you know, flapping gently and silently across the landscape. But they're very vulnerable to crashes in the population, and because of that, that's why they're protected under the Wildlife and Countryside Act. And, you know, Schedule One, you know, the highest protection you can get in the yeah. UK. The island's really overgrown. I'm not one to talk, but it could do with a short back and sides. And this is where the puffins used to hang out. If you came in height of summer, there would be puffins all sitting, just standing on all these rocks here, and all these rocks here, and all these rocks. And we feel that really, as you can see, the mallow here is infringing oh, on their burrows. Right. As we get further in, you'll realise that this, how old is one? This, how old is this is probably a good sort of two years old. Two it dies old. back after well, every really two is years. True, isn't it? As we walk further in, you'll see just how much yeah. the, the plant's having an effect on the island. We've got ourselves the tricky problem of trying to relocate a family of badgers who are about to lose their home under a new housing development. Can we, are you all right? Can we, yeah. uh, can we get all the stony soil back in about a foot? And to give plants a foothold, a thin layer of soil is to be laid on top. With the chambers now staked out, Paul and Jem are laying in the first of the tunnels. But what comes easily to badgers is a bit trickier for engineers. How about if we went from there into here, blocked off this, so when they come down there, they can go into there, and into there, and into there, if you see what I mean. Mm. I wonder yeah. if they do ever get lost first time they go into a new set. <laughs> First off, we turn the air conditioning down to zero to make our cold-blooded adders sleepy on the journey. 
Next, we affix a danger sticker to the back of the car to warn the emergency services in case of an accident. Then we use bungee cords to hang up the snakes for the journey. It's the safest way of making sure they don't slide around in the back. And now all we need is an experienced, fearless adventurer type to sit in the back and look after them. Come on, Bill. He's going in. I knew they'd like it. Yeah, hey, I man. knew it. Look at that. Isn't that just lovely to watch that? Beautiful. But she goes underground and isn't tempted to wander around too much. Here he comes, here he comes. I think that is fantastic, that is actually. Oh, that's a female, isn't it? God, yeah, yeah, big. I mean, that's wow, huge. the size of it. The team are installed in front of the live feed monitor in our field incident room. So, let's going to see what they've actually managed to observe. Anything? Hi again. Uh, Hi. Oh, there's a movement there. There's a movement there. I think. Looks uh, like an eye, doesn't it? Oh, you think you're right there, I, Jeff, It is. There's a little, tiny movement in there. There's a little snout. Yeah. yeah. You can see the black and white, can't you? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, here he comes. Oh, there he is. Oh, anything about? Oh, there's another one. There's another one. There they come. There's a small one. There's one there as well. The ones look smaller behind, though. The, the little set of it eyes does, coming out. Yeah. Yes, I think we've got a mother and two cubs there. So, Maggie, as we stand here on the North Berwick Beach at sunset, it's just a beautiful setting. How do you think the project's gone? It's been fabulous. What can I say? We just take, have to look at the island. Mm. We've cleared two major puffin areas. Yeah. But hopefully birds that bred three or four years ago, the young, they'll come back Heck next yeah, year yeah. and suddenly find this space. And I think what, what it's done as well, it's inspired local people. Where people are already asking, can they come and help? Can they yeah. come and help? Yeah. We're hoping that we're going to see puffins outside their burrows next summer. They'll be coming back in to breed. And we couldn't have done it without all of you from Wild Thing. So thank you. Yay! Yeah, like... Another satisfied customer. Oh, look at this. Badger. Look at that. That, that is on, on top of the set. Oh, look at that. It's brilliant. He's thinking about going in. Go on. Go on. Go on. You know you want to. Go on. His head. Go on. Go, go on, on, son. Go on. All the way in. Yay! Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. That's Development. brilliant. I mean, they're, they're doing exactly what we want them to yeah, do. Yeah, we couldn't want for better results. The pine martin is one of the UK's most elusive mammals. Have you seen one of them? Yes. Uh -huh. Where have you seen one? In the zoo. In the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> we travel to one of their last strongholds, Northern Ireland, where loss of habitat is driving them into conflict with their human neighbours. 